Well, hello again, little Lutherans. How are y'all doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you had a good Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're getting ready for Advent. Well, hopefully things are going well. Sorry that it's been a little eh, inconsistent, if I use that big word, of me reading you guys' stories. Life's been a little bit wild, both here at church and at home and even uh, in many other places. But even though it's wild and even though sometimes my time gets weird, I never forget about you guys. So I will be getting stories out. And because it's been, been an interesting time and we're starting something new here in Advent at church. By the way, did you know that we're starting Advent? on Sunday. Advent. Advent's one of pastor's favorite things. It is all about getting ready for Jesus. Because on Christmas, Jesus comes, which is good. I'm a Jesus fan. I'll be honest with you. But guess what? We got to get ready. Like we get ready for gas and some of those other things we need to get ready. And that's what Advent's all about. Getting ready for Jesus to show up. This is going to be his birthday too. So, Again, if you're going to have a birthday party, you got to prepare, right? Yep. But even amidst all the things you're trying to do to get ready for Jesus, life can be hard. And so I'm going to read you guys one of my favorite books. Hopefully I haven't read it to you yet, but it is mm, one of my favorites. It's called What Do You Do With a Problem? And um, the author has written about two or three books like this, but this is, this is a good one. What do you do with a problem? Sometimes you might have a problem. Sometimes you might be frustrated, et cetera, et cetera. And how do you handle it? I think this guy right here in this book, he gets it, this little guy. All right? So here we go. What do you do with a problem? First of all, you got to get the book in there, Pastor. That's the problem. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got a problem hanging over his head. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Nobody ever wants a problem, right? Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. It's getting bigger in its spine. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. It didn't go away. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? Uh-oh, he's getting a little bit worried, isn't he? Sometimes when we have problems, we get worried. What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? See, he's hiding back there and the problem's over there. What if it takes away all of my things? He's there. He's worried that the problem's going to get his toys, his boat, all those things. Oh, no. I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and worried about that. This poor kid's all worried. He looks sad, doesn't he? It's not good. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. That's true. When we start worrying too much, things get bigger and bigger. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything. I could hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself. But it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. He's got his stuff out. He's making a plan. He's even got a T-square. I like that guy. I realized that I had to face it. Holy cow, this guy's getting ready. S 
So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. Look at him. He just flung himself right on it. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. What? My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because sometimes opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You have to look for it. The end. And that's my hope. Is that if you guys have problems, some of those sorts of things, you know God is with you and get you through it. And if you can see it as an opportunity, as a way to grow, as a way to maybe do something good, that'll get you where you need to be. Because the good Lord's always with you. So even as we get ready for him to show up, I am going to read a great story. It's our gospel lesson for the Sunday. So hope you're able to watch it. And it's called Be Ready. So here we go. Jesus was walking in Jerusalem with his disciples when one of them pointed at a tower of heavy stones being used to build the temple. Look, the disciples said, what huge stones, what large buildings. Jesus stopped and said, you see these big towers of stone? Someday all these stones will fall down. Not one of them will remain standing. Peter and the other disciples were confused. The temple wasn't even finished yet. What would make it fall down? They began to worry. When will this happen? Peter asked Jesus. Jesus paused smiled kindly at his friends. Don't be afraid, Jesus said. Watch and wait. Be ready. Even when scary things happen, God is working for good. Jesus told them, till the mist to comfort them. Jesus knew that trouble was coming. Soon Jesus would die on the cross. See, even Jesus and God sees that hard times do happen and God doesn't cause them. But even God is at work trying to find the opportunities to do good, to heal, and to make the world a better place. And that's what we got to remember, brothers and sisters. We got some problems. It's not a great time right now, but you guys can help. Help us adults who sometimes miss things see the opportunity to do good. All right. Well, blessings, my little Lutherans. Hopefully you have a good time. Hopefully you stay safe. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Blessings now.